Next, let's edit our storyboard. So in the navigation panel on the left side, click on main for the main storyboard. Then go ahead and click on the simulator device that you selected anywhere out on the screen of this device is fine. And then look over in the inspector panel and we want to be on the attributes inspector. So it kind of looks like these three little slider lines. Make sure you're on that inspector. Then look for background and click here in the box where it looks like a white system background. Go ahead and click in there and choose a color other than white, whatever color that you would like. If none of these colors that are listed are the color you're looking for, you can go ahead and click on custom at the bottom, which will bring up this little color wheel and you can grab this little pointer and move it around until you have exactly the color that you want. Next, let's go up to the toolbar at the top and click on the plus sign to open up the object library. Type in UI view and then grab and drag this view on top of your simulator device and let go of it once it's on the screen. Then go ahead and grab these white handles around the outside of the view and drag those until you see these blue lines along the edges which show the safe area. The safe area is the area of the screen that will show up on your device. So just drag this into kind of a rectangle. That's about this size. Then use your trackpad to move to the middle of that view rectangle and click on your trackpad and drag your view until you see these blue crosshair lines line up both vertically and horizontally to let you know that this view is centered on the screen. Then release your trackpad. Now let's change the color of this view rectangle so that it looks like a frame sitting on our screen. So make sure it's selected. It should have these white boxes around the edges. If it doesn't, just click back on that view rectangle so that you can see those boxes. And then look over in the inspector panel on the right side. Again, we want to be on the attributes inspector. And again, let's look for the background and click here in the box where it says system background. And let's choose a different color than our background. So something that stands out. Next, let's click on that plus sign again in the toolbar at the top to open the object library and type in image and that should bring up the image view. Go ahead and drag that image view out of the library. The library will close as soon as you start dragging anything out of it and drag this image view box inside of that UI view or frame that we added to our simulator. And once you have that inside of the view, go ahead and let go of it once you see that green plus sign. And then again, just grab these little white squares on the edge to drag your image view and make it larger. We want to leave some of this yellow, in my case, view rectangle visible so that it looks like a frame around our image. So don't cover up the entire view behind your image view. Maybe something like that. That kind of looks like a photo frame. All right, so we have our background that we changed the color of, and you can see over here, that's our view. If I click on my UI view, I can see it's a view inside of this view. And then if I click on my image view, I can see that highlighted over here on my outline as well. 
Now let's go ahead and add our image to our app. So make sure your image view is selected. You should be able to see these white handlebars around the outside. If you can't, just click back on that image view so that you can see those little white boxes. Then look over here in the inspector panel again. We still want to be on the attributes inspector. And up at the top where it says image, click on this scroll bar and you should see the name of the image that you added to the asset catalog right here at the top. So go ahead and click on that. And that will add your image inside of this image view. Now right now this is a lot of yellow or UI view at the top and the bottom because my photo is more landscape and I want to fill this so that it looks more like a photo frame. So over in the inspector panel again, still on the attributes inspector, we want to look down here under view for content mode. Right now this is aspect fit. So it's a landscape photo and it's appearing as landscape size meaning a side-to-side -side photo. Click on this scroll bar and let's experiment with scale to fit. That makes my squirrel look a little bit distorted, so I'm going to click this again and I'm going to try Aspect Fill, which will fill my image view space but still retain the resolution of my photo. So I like that. It looks good. If I click off of there, I can see this kind of looks like a photo in a frame sitting on my screen. So let's run our app and see how it looks in the simulator. So click on the start button in the toolbar at the top to build and run the app in the simulator. If you're getting a pop-up message about replacing the build, go ahead and click on replace. That just means that it's going to stop the simulator from running the app as it was before and run an updated view of the app. So here's our simulator. Again, that may have taken a minute for your simulator to pop up, maybe a little bit more. Just be patient. But now we can see our app running here in the simulator on the screen. So we have a colored background in our app and then a different color frame and then our image on top of that frame on our screen. So there's our app. It's running a great job.